Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Muslim Playlist. Welcome back, beautiful souls. Today, we have something truly special to share with you. Meet Beth, who recently embraced Islam and courageously shared her heartfelt journey on social media. In this video, she opens up about her experience and the importance of representation in her new community. Let's dive into her empowering story. This is by far the most raw and vulnerable thing I will ever post on social media. But I felt like it had to be done, because seeing other girls who look like me come from my background would have, and still will, help me feel represented and like I belong to this new community. Beth highlights the significance of feeling represented and connected within a new community. By sharing her story, she strives to inspire and empower others who may be going through a similar journey. She courageously addresses the isolation that silence can bring and the profound impact of having others to learn and grow from. Acknowledging that there is much to learn ahead, Beth encourages everyone to focus on becoming their best selves today. She recognizes the importance of support and celebration, longing for the day when she can share the joy of Eid with her newfound community. Beth's story is a testament to the power of representation, vulnerability, and the journey toward self-discovery. And today is the day I took my shot harder. Oh my God, I'm so proud. I never thought I'd add out my hair. Like, oh my God. I have been, I have been looking into Islam since 2019. And I was so scared to take the job. I was so scared of judgment. Who would have thought an English girl born in Basel and in Essex would be here today? I've got so much to learn. I've got so much to learn, but I'm so proud of me. I'm so scared, but I'm so happy. I'm just looking at myself like it's my daughter or past me and just thinking, oh damn, <laughs> like well done, you did it and you did it on your own. With God's help, obviously, but as in, I wasn't born into this. Oh God, I can't believe I'm here. What the hell? Oh, God help me on this journey. God, make it a smooth ride, please. Bring people into my life that will help me, friends. That will guide me and make me a better person, a better Muslim. Muslim, what the hell? <laughs> um, um, shit. <sighs> I can't believe it. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. What? Oh. oh, I'm so proud of me. Oh, God. It all makes sense now, all the, all, the, all the hardship. I don't know if I would be here without it. I pray, I pray to God. I don't know if anyone will ever watch this video. I don't know what my journey in Islam is going to be like. I, I just don't know. I hope it's me sailing and I hope I just get a better, better, become a better person and I hope I tell someone one day. But if you're watching this video, just, I don't even know if you're an atheist or agnostic or, or you're not Muslim. Just, just have an open mind because trust me, I've always had an open mind, but I never thought I would be here. And don't judge the media. Don't judge people based on the media. And if you're a Muslim, don't shoot other people down when they're really trying, because that would hurt me right now. And you need to build other people up. God watches that. God watches the hand that you hold out, outstretched. <sighs> okay. Over and out, Beth. I'm talking to myself like a loser, but God can hear me. <laughs> As we celebrate her resilience and embrace her as part of our global community, let's remember the importance of supporting and uplifting one another. 
take this opportunity to reflect on your own journey and commit to being the best version of yourself. We hope Beth's story will inspire you to find strength in your own vulnerabilities and embrace the beauty of diversity. Don't forget to like this video and share it with others who may benefit from this incredible journey. Subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories like this one. Until next time, may peace and blessings be upon you all.